What is going on guys? This is Chris here from 608 Gaming and today we've got another video here for you for our uh, series free to play. This game is called Unturned. Um, this game is still in the early access alpha. It's actually not too bad to be completely honest with you. Um, it's a lot like Minecraft with a little bit of 7 days to die and some Daisy in there. But all in all it's not too bad of a game. Um, right now it's nighttime, so the zombies I believe are a little bit more uh, a little bit more crazy. But we're just going to check this game out and kind of see what you guys think here. So here's our first zombie. Um, he's laying on the ground. And this game's kind of cool because of the fact that when you punch, you can either do a right or a left click, depending on, and then that'll depend on which arm you have uh, that, like, you punch with. So it's actually pretty cool. All right, we've alerted another zombie. I'm just going to do the same thing. When you start off, you don't start off with anything. So we're just going to sit and just punch him away, go, uh... Muhammad Ali yell at him and we'll kind of see how we do. Oh, we just startled another one. Now, I've ever actually, I've played this a little bit, but I've never actually gone through and actually done anything super exciting with it. Every time I get to a little town like this to, you know, scavenge some supplies, I end up dying. So, let's see what we got here. Moldy cabbage. I don't want a moldy cabbage because it's probably going to make me sick or something. All right, we've got another couple over there. Oh, we just alerted them both. Alright. Come on. I'm gonna go Mike Tyson on ya. Oh yeah, how, how the punch to the, uh, to the nose feeling, zombie. Oh, Jesus. I'm already at 22% life. Alright, so we may have a problem here. Pick up the pocket knife and let's open up our inventory. How do I equip it? E equipped knife. Alright, I have a knife. And I'm naked. So, we're doing good so far. I got a travel pack. What the... What does a travel pack do? Tubular bag. Let's equip... Okay, I didn't... No, I don't want to carry the bag. I just want to, you know, maybe put it on my back. So I can carry some more stuff. Because I've noticed when you're naked, you don't really get to carry a whole lot. I've never actually found clothes. But I'm kind of curious to see where you actually put your, uh... Put all that stuff when you're naked. Yeah, knife him. Knife him right in the throat. Alright. So, I'm almost dead. And it looks like uh, I might have some radio radioactive material on me. I'm not sure. I'm at like 36%. So, this, this is going to be fun. Alright, there's a zombie right there. Oh, I just attracted him. And he may end up killing me. We'll see. Looks like Bob the Builder, kind of. Who can kill it? Yes, we can. And I can't drive because we don't have anything. Awesome. So this uh, first part's looking pretty good, guys. Uh, I'm just going to sit and walk around here for a while, and we'll kind of see what happens. All right, so we're up here on this. Uh, looks like a car crash here. Um, and I can see that there's a zombie. There's a police zombie right there. We've got multiple zombies. I've got 2% life left, so chances are I'm probably screwed. I don't know where my knife went. That's also a problem in a zombie apocalypse when you don't have your weapons. That looks like a bottle of ketchup. What is that? That's some bullets. Oh my gosh, we got bullets. That looks like a boxy hat. What is that? Can't. Oh, I got killed by a zombie. All right, and let's uh, let's respawn and try this again. So it's still nighttime. The game is definitely a lot easier to see when it's daytime. I had went in to try to like up my gamma and my brightness and stuff like that, and you still just don't really get that much of an opportunity um, to do it. You don't really have that much space. You know, it doesn't go up very high. All right, so we're over here by a lighthouse. It looks like one cool thing with this game is that like it measures your energy. You know, like I know Minecraft, it kind of does it, but it's I don't know. It doesn't really show you what your energy is at. So I can sit and sprint. Which definitely makes you run faster, but your energy goes down really, really fast, and then it takes some time for it to come back. Um, right there, I mean, it took me probably five or ten seconds before it would start coming back. Once it starts coming back, it comes back fast, but there's that gap there, so I try to save it for just when I'm running from zombies. So let's just kind of see. It definitely can be a boring game. It's a lot of just walking around and scavenging, and it's really tough from what I've learned right away to just get stuff right out the blue because every time you go anywhere where there's anything that would be decent, you've got zombies. 
and the zombies are hard to get away from. And right there, I just sat and punched that zombie for like five minutes, and he didn't die yet. So now he's finally dead. I've got a magazine for nothing. So let's kind of see what we got up here in this lighthouse. Holy shit, I did not see that zombie at all. He blended in way too good. All right, punch him, punch him. All right, whew, he's good. All right, we got a work light. Apparently, I can't get into the cooler. What's that? A bonjour clip. A swift, another swift magazine. I'd like to figure out where the swift magazine goes, because I could uh, do some major damage. Oh, that's an umbrella. Come on, I can't be like uh, Dead Rising. I can't use the umbrella and take out some Zeds. All right, so we don't have really a whole lot. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with a work light. So I guess we're just going to go back down. I was falling right there. I thought I was going down the ladder. Well, that's terrific. So the game still has a little bit of control issues, as you can see. Um, I honestly thought I was just climbing down the ladder really fast. Apparently I was uh, falling. So that really doesn't help me out one little bit. What's this? Is this a zombie out here? I think that's a zombie. Let's just hobble out there. I'm gonna hobble. I'm coming to get you, zombie. What the fuck is he doing? Playing golf? So that zombie's out here playing golf. And he's mad because he didn't hit it in the hole. Alright. Can I take the golf pin? I can't take the pin. I can't take the golf box the golf uh, cube Jesus so yeah so as you guys can kind of see the uh, the layout here of the game it's honestly it's really fun once you get used to it right now it's kind of tough because I spawned at night and every time I spawn it's nighttime and so it's hard to see stuff but all in all it's actually a pretty fun game especially for being free because um, when you go to play a free to play game basically it's really hit and miss you can have a game that's really, really fun that you know that you're going to play a long time, and then you're going to have games that as soon as you start playing it, you realize this game is complete crap, and it's just it's not going to be fun at all. All right, I'm going to kind of stay out here because I, I know I've got a little bit of a glare on my screen when I'm playing, but I really cannot see anything in here. All I can see is like the sky. It's pretty dark. All right, we got some water over here yeah there's really nothing where we're at right now um oh what do we got here rocks see and i can't even use the rocks like a rock would be a halfway decent weapon against a zombie you know you throw it you smash their skulls do whatever you gotta do but they would definitely work and i mean it looks like minecraft but like i can't break anything so it's not like seven days to die where you can actually go through and break stuff and build stuff that actually gets pretty fun but this right here you can't really do a whole lot but i'm assuming that's part of it being free to play and part of it being early access any early access game you know when you first play it there's going to be a lot of things you're going to be like wow this is crap i hope they fix it and generally they're going to fix it because they go off of what people how people review it all right so now we're coming up on a little area um gonna punch this zombie quick oh all right we got another one they're probably going to kill me both. Both going to kill me. Jesus. They take a lot of punches, let me tell you. And it sucks. Like I said, when you first start and you don't have anything, they're really tough. But no, it really has like a seven days to die kind of feel to it. You don't start with anything. You got to go to these little areas to scavenge for stuff. Um, I haven't even played seven days to die that much. I started playing it the one day, and then... I was playing for maybe five minutes, and all of a sudden these dogs just ran up and killed me. And it just, it didn't ruin it for me, but I was just like, really? Like, I played for five minutes, and then these dogs came out of nowhere and just, like, annihilated me. More moldy, ca moldy cabbage again? Are you kidding me? We're probably in the same spot as what we were before. I'm going to walk up here. I can't, I guarantee this is, yep, this is the exact same spot. I'm going to get into this thing. It's not going to run, so I'm not even going to try it. And then I'm going to run up here. There's going to be a hat on the ground. Yeah, I guarantee this is the same spot we were before. What's this? Rocks. More rocks. Rocks that I can't use. I honestly hope that, like, 
there's so many things that they can allow that like they give you to like pick up in the game. I really hope that they let you pick up rocks because that would make life a lot more fun. All right, so I've got no energy left. There's a cloth. Let's see. Oh, I can drive this. Nice. So the driving. Oh, I'm. Jesus. So I'm wrecking this car, this vehicle. Yep, I'm. I just wrecked it. What's that? Slugs. Those are, so those are shotgun rounds. That's why a moldy cabbage. Bullets. Police hat. And so on. Travel pack. Oh, that's all the stuff that I dropped when I died. Well, sweet. Let me see if I can get that knife. All right. Punch you in the face. Oh, my God. He killed me. All right. So this hopefully kind of gave you guys a little bit of an idea of what the game's like. Free to play. If you guys have a computer that can play PC games, um, download it on Steam. It's for free. I would say definitely get it. It takes a little bit to get used to, but it's honestly really, really fun to play. So I give this one definitely a thumbs up. So all I got for you guys today is uh, just thank you for watching this video. Um, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.